Oh, Jesus. God. No, no, no. I don't know what the fuck Waldorf stories means, but it makes me wonder if this is episode's me a collection of short stories. Probably not. But these motherfuckers got me paranoid. What the fuck you mean by Waldorf stories? Let's just get into this. It's episode six of season four. For the common chair. Oh, look at this motherfucker. Cure for the common beer. This is a bitch is from uh, Vampire, uh, Buffy the Vampire the Slayer. Common, how about Alka-Seltzer, so the cure for the common cold? <laughs> the cure for the common cold is the idiom I'm playing off. It's an idiom. Did you know that? <laughs> I like this actor. I've never seen him do anything besides Buffy. Why is it in your book? <laughs> I got a bunch of them in there. Marble Man, Maiden Form. I like to put in work that I admire. You're a dumbass. Don't you ever tear things out of magazines? Yes. I don't put them in my book. <laughs> you know what they say. Aspirations, as good as perspiration. That's, That's not what they say. <laughs> I'm taking half a cue card. Look, I'm a 24-year-old kid. He's clearly not. I'm going to be in the ad. This is 10 years after Buffy, and he was in his 20s in Buffy. This buffer has got to be 35 here. It was really a pleasure to meet you, Danny. It stinks. Wish you the best of luck. Yeah. Best of luck in... In whatever the fuck you're going to do with your life. Do you know a good place to eat around here? Fuck off. <laughs> Tell my secretary you're hungry. See what she suggests. <laughs> that moron. Look at it. Yeah, good luck with that. Dude. Jesus. That was terrible. I don't want to jump on his grave or anything, but there's no way he's 24. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm 25. I was saying the same thing. I'm glad they acknowledged it. It's a relief to see someone worse than me. Really know it. <laughs> God Don't damn. To it. That's some dance on grace, Beth. Well, you, you finish something, you find out everyone loves it right around the time that it feels like someone else did it. Way to bring down the rope, Dick. For the clear? You got anything on Vicks? Actually, it's Vic, chemical. Answer the question. <laughs> yeah, nice very deflection. Behind. And don't think you can spend Monday hiding behind corners and trying not to make eye contact. I will find you. <laughs> I'm not the problem. Get on the shit. You are. Because Stan is talented and more experienced. You need to learn how to work with him, not the other way around. Really? Charlie Chaplin was very lonely. A tramp. Too much of a sad sack. Well, that's a nonsense. Laurel and Hardy, they were better. Except Hardy was so mean to Laurel. I hated that. I prefer that this motherfucker that did who's on first. What was it? How, uh, Costello? Something to Costello. Oh, she's coming in and tell you this in person. That kid? Very, very cute prank. Yeah. Caroline, to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. That's it was a I prank. Did. I told him to be himself. That was pretty mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> so, when does he start? <laughs> first of never. <laughs> if I don't hire Jane's cousin. It's probably going to cost me a personal gift expenditure between five hundred and a thousand dollars. God damn! Well, that sounds like you problem. And the only thing I ask is that you call me Don. Well, Don. Oh. Can't say I know my furs that well. Check out this flashback. My mother had a chinchilla. It's always the right size, and nothing says mink like mink. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. It's a nice way to ease into things, and you can always come back. Look, I'm looking at this. How about we split the shit. difference so they wear them to the waist? Can I give you a call? First of all, you need twenty of those, and second of all, no. Yeah. <laughs> You like him? Oh, so we're still in the flashback. Say. Okay. Try it on. At first I thought he was cheating on his wife, but I don't believe it. What is this? The owner's manual? It's Noah's Ark. <laughs> it's out of line is what it is. I love it. It's perfect. And I think it's a bit much. If you don't kiss me after that, I'll <laughs> Shit worked. Yeah, that's right. Remember that shit. I was late for the Emmys last year. Red Skelton gave my seat away. I'll surmise due to the usual nature of your stories that that's someone of the <laughs> Red Skelton's awesome. Good news and the bad news is... Oh, shit. We only have an hour before we do with the Cleos. Sorry, kids. Game called on a kind of win. Well, it's all about a send-off. I'll have a seven and seven. You have legs. <laughs> Is Joan going with you? Yes. We only had four tickets. There'll be a lot of other people's clients there. 
Thank you, Joan. Peggy, anything? I have work to do. Yeah, she's pissed. Girls, do you mind? She really don't like this motherfucker. <laughs> God damn, man. What the fuck's your problem? That man's natural state is new. Because I'm civilized. Because you're brainwashed by society and the thing ain't dirty. You take away all this crap and you'd say it's not. It's natural and it's beautiful. It's also against the law, asshole. The minute you win, they know the ad's already, and then you're out of business. Turns out there's almost 50 awards. I'd say 10 minutes apiece. That's a long time. Get another drink. Well, well, if it isn't Pebbles and Bam Bam. Leave any drinks for the rest of us? Don Draper, Roger Sterling, this is Major General Frank Alvin. I like this uh, rivalry between these motherfuckers. Roger, have you the play Ted Shaw? Is that how you say? C H A O U G H? Hey, writers. How many extra vowels? <laughs> what a dick. Let's head due south, General. Well, I hope this doesn't drag on like last year. I'll wait. <laughs> dick. I like how he's brutalized that guy's name. See you again. I'm surprised he would bring you over here. You know, we miss bird's eye more than we miss cat. Judas Priest, are we merging with Geyer? Yeah. <laughs> Everything I just went into Ken Cosgrove. Yeah, so fuck off. And I... I don't know if it was that funny. <laughs> I have to tell you, I am very impressed you got this game. Yeah, well, thank you for making <laughs> it easier. Wally! Sit your ass down. Hey. I know it's duck. I'm still saying sit your ass down. It's great to see you. I mean, actually, alive and everything. That's right, security. Get, Get him the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've already won. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that'll be the limit to the public speaking portion of our show. That's a good host, man. You got to build a rebound. And gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not pacing myself. I'm drunk as hell. Campbell Methuen of Minneapolis. How are we looking? One yeah. Step Floor Cares Bus Stop. BBDO. Low coat, Billy the Kid, Sterling Cooper Draper Price. Billy the Kid, that's the one that showed at the beginning of the season. Look at her being supportive. And the winner is. Low coat, Billy the Kid. God damn right. <laughs> Booyah. Drag your balls across everybody as you walk up there. I've won awards before, you know, it's, it's a pretty great feeling. Next up, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Well, I ran over because the people from Life Serial rented a car, and now they're waiting at the office. Jesus. No, no, they want to see our presentation. We said we put a cherry on this thing. Aye, aye. Really? Yeah, we're drunk as hell. Tell us when she sees Allison dancing with Rodney at the after party. Is this the award ceremony happening in the middle of the day? What the fuck's going on here? Don't those things happen at night? God damn right. Heavy. Done. I remember. Jim and Dennis, why did you make it? Man, there. You're not toasted. You've been unwinding as Mr. Crane ruins Peyton Place. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Is everyone set? That's why I'm glad They're drunk as hell. We didn't start without me. Live cereal. He is Delicious. drunk as fuck. Look at him. Crispy. And it's got a big name, you know. Got, you know what? I got it. You don't got it, Doug. But I kept thinking about, you know, nostalgia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> How you remember something in the past, and it feels good, but it's a little bit painful. This is like, like when me on my 10th reaction of the day. And life. Eat life by the bowlful. Little kid, big bowl, big spoon. It stinks. Kids see the giant bowl. I like the bowlful, but I think it's kind of smart for regular folks. You know, the irony, I guess. <laughs> Children will get the picture. Moms will get the irony. All they're going to want to hear is a slogan. I don't think this is going to cut. He's here about to cuss you out. Why don't we let Don work that over? We can either talk on Monday if you're staying the weekend, or we can come see you in Chicago. I got it. I got it, Pete. Oh, shit. Life is just a bowl of life cereal. Oh, Jesus. God. Oh, no, no. Life is sweet. Look, don't brainstorm in front of the clients, man. Come on. Your life. Come on. I, Don, I'm drunker than you <laughs> are. I'm not expecting you to do this right now. Give me a second. Oh, Jesus, God. Life. <sighs> Jesus, God. It's sweetness never ends. Somebody shut him Life. the fuck up. Eat it by the bowlful. Oh, oh, there you go. <sighs> Cure for the common breakfast. Love it. Actually, I, I do like that. Angle. I like that. That's good. I can keep going. Uh, dude, shut the hell up. Home run. We don't need to take up any. 
You know what I think? I think they don't like it. I think they just want to get the fuck out of here. Anytime, fellas. <laughs> Very good then. God, he's an asshole. Can I speak with you a moment? Yeah, no. Got anything on Vix yet? I really need to talk to you. You still have nothing? Book a nice room with a lock on it for Mr. Olsen and Rizzo. Fill <laughs> it to Vix. Don't come out until you have something. P, we'll walk him out. <laughs> if looks could kill. Place or should I? He wasn't serious. It's the weekend. We'll work in the office. Do you want me to go chase him down to see if he's serious or not? Go get Stanley. <laughs> God, she's terrible. Blaine, may I? Come in. <laughs> she's being frozen out. It came to me that Mr. Cosgrove was unhappy. And his choice clients. Very choice clients. Would be a welcome addition to the family. Over my dead body. <laughs> Does your dead body have the kind of money you can bring in? You've never liked me. You picked him over me to begin with, and now you expect me to work with him again? Approval denied. <laughs> Roger Sterling is a child. And frankly, we can't have you pulling the cart all by yourself. Work this shit. Ken is proven. Work this and shit. Hungry. Look at him work this shit. And he has accounts. Accounts is money, motherfucker. Bird's eye, a, a beverage called Mountain Dew. Whatever the hell Mountain Dew is. <laughs>